Hey guys, just a heads up, if you're watching this video when it just came out on Saturday the 30th, I'm giving away a drawing tablet to one of you guys live on Twitch. Links below, so come say hi. Artwork, critiques, Photoshop files and reference sheets are all available on my Patreon. Well, hello there guys and girls, my name's Mikey, welcome back to my room, it's time for another tutorial. And today we're going to be taking a look at some more emotions and feelings in your anime and manga characters by going from a range of fairly neutral, unhappy, all the way through the sadnesses right up to crying their eyes out, just so that we can really have a range of character emotions to help just fill up the things you can do with your character designs. Now we've just dropped into a tiny bit of time lapse so that I can fill the page with some basic head shapes, so pause if you want to follow along at home. But seeing as we did a load of smiling and happy laughing expressions in the last tutorial, now we just want to look at the entire subtle shift in different kind of levels of sadness you get, just from the eyes tearing up all the way to those crying kind of features. So hello, if you're working from home, I have a number of sheets of super cheap printer paper laid on my desk and a dirty cheap disposable HB mechanical pencil. You don't need the best things, just get whatever you can if you're in the mood to start drawing. But I also have a scrap sheet of paper just to rest my hand on so that I don't smush up the rest of the page as we work. Now let's start off then with an anime character who's relatively not happy but also pretty neutral. They've only just got some news or seen something they don't really like the sound of. And we're going to take a look at their expressions and how it kind of all crunches up the less happy they get. So if you've got your heads already kind of laid out, I'm going to dive in, start off in this kind of corridor I've given myself across the face for the eyes. And I'm going to have the eyes relatively neutral but also relatively open as well. They're still taking in information. The features of this character's face is still very open and receptive, um, even if they're going to have a tiny bit of a frown. And what we're going to do is really just capture that slightly passive unhappy look in having a very small frowning mouth shape. I'm just coming in with the eye shape by coming up on the outside edge of a relatively straight line having a little bit of a flat top and curving down. This is kind of my rough guide, which I'll go firmer on as I put everything together. And then I'm just going over the top of the far eye as well. This is just the way I like to kind of work across the face, just like so, and then just coming down here. Uh, the far away eye is not as wide as the near one, but it's still going to be the same kind of height and depth, just curving around the outside edge of the eye like so. And then I'm just going to make sure that the pupils themselves are not perfect circles, slightly elliptical, and designed so that, or the irises I should say, and designed so that the top is probably going to disappear under the eyelash a little bit. Let's come back down and around, and the bottom as well, just a little bit flattened off, just to show that it's getting covered by the lower part of the eye as well. So let's get some nice curve around either side, just disappearing under the hood, just coming down there. And then I'm just going to come a little bit in here as well to squeeze around fairly close to the inside edge of this eye. Just going to get more curve as we come around the outside edge. Just like so. So it's not come all the way in, but it's filling up a good amount of space there. And if I just work very lightly, I'm going to bring the lashes down just a little bit, just bring this line to drop down in and start to curve a little bit against those firmer shapes that I've put in just now without working the inside edge line too low. This area is still just indicated or suggested because it's mostly blank and then come down the outside edge just here and I'm just going to enlarge in the outer lash there. I will put all the rest of the lashes and other bits in later. The main bit is the overall shape and form that's going on here to help describe um, what's going on with the emotions and the expressions. I'm just sweeping in a little bit of the hood of the eye on top there. I'm just going to go ahead and pop the same thing on the other side, just popping up and down there. And again, just filling up. And the reason I'm filling the lashes down instead of thickening the top part of this eye in uh, above the line is just because it means it covers down around the iris a little bit more and it just brings for me personally the right amount of the iris to be shown. The eye is not too far open and wide because the character is not in a state of surprise just yet so the iris still gets to be described as nice and large comparatively. I'm still taking in that info and then I'm just going to pop in a little light reflection 
just something there. Maybe we've just got the pupil somewhere down there. Just like that. And then a lighter area indicated here. Now, the way we can dive into details for drawing eyes can go on forever. So I'm doing some really simple kind of eye shapes and design language right here. Just describing that it's a tiny bit darker up in the top part. The lower part is catching all of the natural light and bouncing it from the bottom upwards because it's a lens shape that goes just slightly in. And again, more eyelashes to follow. Maybe just a little bit to pop in here on the inside edge and pop in here. Um, but what's going on with the eyebrows? The eyes, the eyebrows and the mouth, that's where we get all of our expression coming from in these characters. Well, I'm gonna have these eyebrows fairly open, fairly high and sweeping upwards, just like so. Just up here. Round about so, and just up here. So the eyebrows themselves are already relatively unhappy, relatively high, lower on the outside than they are towards the middle. They're not squeezed together too hard yet or anything like that. Just raised up, just some concern in the expression. I'm going to pop in a tiny nose that's just a little bit around about here. Just like that, nothing too much. And then the frown expression itself. It's not massively um, wide and unhappy. It's relatively small, relatively frowning. Not a good time. She's pretty sure somebody is just about to run off and do something stupid and they're going to hurt themselves. Uh, she's a little bit happy about a situation that's kind of unfolding. Something along those lines. Just got an idea that things aren't going too great. And then there's all sorts of other bits that we can build on here. But I just wanted to talk about the fact we can have a small frown, relatively open eyes, but we haven't gone too extreme yet. And the um, eyebrows are just pushing their way up. And then what I'm going to do is work for a load of other examples of unhappy faces. But I want to pick out a couple key examples with you guys. So let's go all the way over here. In here, I'm going to have like a more shocked expression for you. But in here, I want to have a go at a face which is now unhappy. The face is starting to close a little bit. It's going to give you a slight shift in feeling of this character. The eyes are going to start to close a little bit more. Uh, they're going to be pouting a little bit. They know that like they're properly unhappy about the situation now. Might possibly on a, be on the cusp of considering crying and so on. And you'll just see the kind of slight difference between this slightly more, slightly more open face. Excuse me as I mumble my way through. So on this one here. As mentioned, I'm going to just go to the lower part of my eye line now, just so that I can bring these eyes uh, coming in a lot more closed. Just sweeping out a little bit before I curve, just over the top here, and come down like so. And then I'm just going to do the same thing here, just sweeping up, following a fairly horizontal line before coming back out over here. And I'm working this fairly low, just to kind of give that indication that these eyes are definitely closing down. So we're going to get a little bit more of the eyelash situation. I'm working relatively thickly just up here. And again, I'm so sorry that I'm doing some relatively rough work, but I'm trying to keep this video as quick as possible. We did a full on real time last time. So you guys have an idea of what we're trying to get at. But this time we're going to just pick out a few key examples before we drop into some time lapse. Let's pop over here. Just going off the edge now, filling things up around the outside, like so. I still haven't quite indicated the lower part here, but I can, with a slightly more closed eye, just actually bring a line in along the bottom part of the eye. I'm going to keep this relatively flat for the moment. And then for the actual eyes themselves, I can just kind of really squeeze that shape a little bit and start to kind of give the impression that it might be a bit more of a, a circular eye but we're not seeing that much, so we're kind of squeezing down. Let's come in on the far eye a little bit, bring that expression towards us, and then I'm just going to come up here a little bit for fold in the top of the eyelid, sweep out, pop down, and up here, sweeping down to the outside edge, keeping those kind of sad eyes feeling going just a little bit if we can. And then again, these eyebrows are very unhappy, but I'm going to bring these eyebrows a little bit lower 
but still sweep them right up in towards the middle. So I'm going to start around about here this time. Keep it relatively horizontal until right towards the end of this eye area, just along here. And then I'm just popping up quite firmly. So let's come in here and just sweep back on that line. Just like so. Might have a little area down here. The underside of the brow zone just there. Sweeping in a very similar manner on this edge before coming a bit further down. And a little bit more concern, these brows are pushing together just a little bit more. There might be a little bit of wrinkle in the forehead. And then I'm just going to sweep this line right down between the eyes here, following down towards kind of a nose line area, which I'm going to pop just about here. Just like so. And then this round, a little bit pouty, a little bit unhappy, even smaller. The mouth is even more closed. Don't like what they're seeing. It really closes up the expression. So just a little frowny bit right there. A bit of a bottom lip. Just to find there as it pouts and squeezes out. She's not happy at all. Um, and then if I just get some light popping in here and here. And I'm going to start to get the more unhappy a character is. The closer that they are um, to possibly crying and so on. The more I'm going to start to pop uh, light reflections, just areas of white bounce light into the eyes as well. Because I'm starting to describe that the eyes are getting quite watery, really getting a glassy effect. It's going to be reflecting more light uh, and slowly building up that whole feeling of emotion, really, that's going to be in those characters. So let's just go here and here. I think this face is looking a little bit wonky. I might do some tidy up in the time lapse, but we'll slowly find what we're after. And then also, just the first hint of a little bit of blush. Just for blood is running in. Not too happy. Who knows? And then we've just got a feeling from here. Oh, there's something that I don't really like or I'm not sure what I'm looking at or it's just meh. And then, okay, this is not amazing. Not loving it so far. We could have like a little stress bead of sweat just coming down the side of the head not too amazing and it's going to work through all these other range of emotions we're going to have a look at uh, eyes which are kind of crying a bit differently really close them up as well i'll show you that in just a minute but let's dive all the way over to just bawling their eyes out basically so i'm going to put in a couple of examples of um crying and being sad but not really crying out loud just shedding tears and the kind of feeling that that gives us before starting to cry with an open mouth and then really just letting rip over here so let's go and start off with the eyes again these eyes are going to be closed we've had a look at different closed eyes and how we kind of create this shape here for the eyelashes and so on when the eyes all close together but actually i'm not quite going to have such a fun spring in the shape of this curve because this isn't like a fun happy smiling face so the cheeks aren't squeezing up with a grin to create this curve shape in the eyes i'm actually just going to go a little bit flatter just like so but still relatively thick as well so let's sweep up there gonna lightly just give that a little bit of tone then a similar thing over here let's give that all filled in like such and the more emotional and wavering and all over the place a character is especially when they're proper ugly crying um the more you can get wobbly and less firm with your lines as well have quivering bottom lips and just all sorts of emotions really just tearing all over the place so i'm just going to put a few different lines to just represent the folds above the eyes and then at the top of the eyelid just here and just here and then the eyebrows are going to be squeezing really hard together and squeezing right up just like this and just like this going down the other end a few lines to indicate where that's pushing together just going to pop in some slight ovals just here and here just to indicate where we've got the curve coming down 
into the inside edge of where the eyes are, just down on either side of the top part of the nose before it forms all the way down from the bridge. And then the reason why I haven't gone too firmly in here is because we're also going to throw in some tears. Now I'm going to do a, a tutorial focused very specifically on tears and crying eyes and so on and what we kind of want to keep an eye out for. Um, but basically let's have a large wet slightly elliptical area here. I've kind of gone for one slightly curved shape followed by more of an elliptical shape down there just in the inside edge here, inside edge here and then this one I'm going to start off with a line already that's coming down here before bulbing out into a teardrop and if you're going to have tears running down the cheeks or running down the face of your character you kind of want to have it mapping to the curve of the cheeks and following their way around. More tears on the outside edge. Sweep down here and also just here as well. So I'm just going to have a little bit of area here. And I'm really hyper accentuating these tears. I'm showing that it's both building up in the eyes before also sweeping down the face. These big teardrops. And then also there's going to be maybe a few teardrops just out here like so and then just going to sharpen up some of the lines over these squeeze closed eyes here going to have some of these lashes coming down as well so starting to zigzag and point down into here but also lines that are squeezing up in here and then I'm going to have my nose right up here not bringing too much attention to this nose area and then all of this area at the bottom part of the face this generous zone we're going to fill up with a big kind of crying mouth shape as well so i'm going to go relatively far up relatively up near the top area here this face is all opened up for the crying but not in a fun expressive way just in a Ugh. so i'm going right open all the way around when a character's crying their eyes out, we're not trying to make them look uh, too attractive. They're more vulnerable and uglier, just ugly crying in general. There are ways you can have your characters crying in a beautiful manner, absolutely. Um, but it's not the stage of ugly crying for baddies. That's more beautiful tears in the wind and the hairs flowing all over the place and they have very striking eyes. This is bawling their eyes out. So as I sweep open for this really big mouth, as I mentioned, I'm going to get wobbly with the line over here. Just like this. And then I'm going to have some top part of the teeth just coming in here. And we're going to see all the way up in here, the rest of the bottom part of the teeth, just coming around from the molars at the back, sweeping around the front before coming back this way. And then just the curve of the tongue somewhere over here. And what I want to do is certainly have a lot of fun with this, but I always want to just point back and come back to there's going to be a whole different range of subtle emotions to have in here. So don't always jump to um, number 10 on your levels of emotional hardcoreness. Sometimes just bring it up subtly, depending on what's going on in your narrative and with your characters. But that being said, uh, something that comes to mind immediately is One Piece. That's a really good manga for watching hyper, hyper expressive faces, uh, especially when they're crying their eyes out. But I, I can't think about that because I'm, I'm still stuck on Port Custy Ace and all the uh, stuff in Impel Down. So something like that. I'm just going to darken up all the way around here. Just putting down some tone just to really throw the back of the mouth in shadow. All the way back around there. And then might just squeeze a few more lines. Let's get this lid going down here. And you really can just get away with more line work in a really bunched up, scrunched up, crying face like this. Let's have a few notches near the nose because all the muscles are squeezing together and all emotional. The blood definitely rushing to the face in this one. Another teardrop here maybe. And I'm going to just like here, but a little bit more firmly, just fill in this flush all the way 
across here like so really having a bad time if i was going to be drawing hair on these characters this is definitely an example where i'd have the hair just coming apart going all over the place getting wild loads of loose threads really losing that control over the features and really losing that kind of a clean line around the hair whereas over here this character's hair might still be relatively smooth relatively in control and just following much more of a casual kind of look and line so what i'm going to do guys is jump into some time lapse and give you an example of um maybe shocked receiving some bad news obviously this one knows that things are bad and they're not very happy about it at all but we'll just kind of firm this up maybe shift the eye a little bit then we'll take a look at really just being on a cusp of properly crying shedding some tears but um, very sad with a kind of a lower expression with some different body language starting to cry openly and just building up to what we've done here so guys i'll see you just in a minute And yeah, welcome back, guys. So we've got a range of expressions going from a relatively neutral, unhappy face. The eyes are still open, but not super wide. The irises are still relatively large, taking in info. But the brows are starting to squeeze and tilt up towards the middle. The frown is relatively small on the face. The expressions aren't going too wild. And also to go with that, the elasticity of the face hasn't gone too nuts either. It's still a relatively smooth curve as we work around the cheek for this fairly young character but then maybe they've suddenly just got some bad news the eyes open up the irises are drawn much smaller we can see the whites all the way around the eye now because they're just like huh? what the brows pushing up even further to kind of accentuate that the mouth making a kind of dismayed shape so here we've just got like another stage of not liking what's happening maybe getting a little bit of bad news then we've got a character who's in a situation they don't want to be. They're unhappy with something, but they're probably having to go through with it anyway. The uh, lids of the eyes, they're a little bit lower now. The eyes are a little bit more covered over, a little bit more closed, so not quite so upright, not really taking in much information. The brows still have that sadness to them, a bit of a pout or a frown, some warmth in the cheeks as well. With characters slowly increasing their emotions, you kind of make the cheeks a bit redder, the nose a bit redder, the blood is getting flushed around the body and so on, because, you know, it's a real chemical reaction when you have a really strong emotion to stuff. So what about the unfortunate end of going into actual tears? Maybe your character is having a silent cry. They're deeply upset about something. The uh, expression is lower. The head is maybe and eye line tilted and looking a little bit further down um, because they're not really opening up to a situation they're pretty sad the body language isn't going to be happy either we're again just increasing the amount of blush to the cheek i've tend to gone quite hard with the kind of tears i like to roll these things right down the cheek remember they're mapping the curve of the face as they do so so you can kind of link them right back up to the eyes as you see fit but you'll also notice when we've just gone from this kind of unhappy face we've still got relative lightness going on in the eyes but the more emotional and sad we get the more water in the eyes with the tears the glassier we're getting so i'm making the eyes darker and darker some more extra reflections of light popping in there the brow furrowing a little bit more the expression closing up overall and then maybe we've got a character who's crying but still communicating 
Perhaps they're crying whilst they're having to do something, crying whilst they're having to talk to somebody about something. This expression is a touch more open, so they're probably still in dialogue. Maybe they're also doing something that they're a little bit intimidated or scared of, but, you know, they're being brave and going ahead, even though they're openly crying about it. The eyes almost completely black now, really glassy, loads of more light reflections going on and the tears streaming down, wobbly line happening in the mouth. The lips are kind of quavering and wobbling now, but the eyebrows of this one I've gone for a slightly more sweeping curve as we make our way up and also as this is all happening I'm getting a bit more generous of the bump of the curve of the cheek when we're looking ever so slightly uh, to the side not perfectly straight on just to accentuate the kind of characteristics of a face really just coming to life and then we've got maybe just balling their eyes out as well um, I could go even firmer with uh, all of the extra lines on here we could make the cheeks even more flushed the face really Really dark and red if you want to tears streaming everywhere just going really wide for the accentuation of the mouth and the wobbly lines and all the kind of tearfulness and emotions brows shooting up loads of lines around the eyes as a face is scrunching in and also just snots or you know just goo streaming out of the nostrils as well everything is breaking down ugly crying is a big wide expressive thing as well so guys uh, maybe now you can actually uh, let your characters experience some of the terrible backstories i know you're giving to your own ocs we've done some happy faces now we've done some sad faces we'll be doing a lot more in the future but remember if you'd like to grab a copy of this i'll scan it in and add it to my tutorials work pack available on patreon for just a dollar links below that's how i'm able to make all of this stuff for free on youtube so a great big shout out to the december patrons including sano black obsidian colin f justin t silent lumberjack mumbles 45 dan nathan Traylon b danny s and homongchi l thank you very much for the support as ever as for the rest of you i hope to see you very soon we're going to be doing many more tutorials so make sure you've clicked that subscribe button and i'll see you next time take care